You'll be learning about this amazing SaaS journey on how these two co-founders started and are running a SaaS product that's completely bootstrapped in a competitive sea of pop-up builders. I'll be taking a look at how it was launched, how they acquired their first customers and the inspiration for the product along with much more. So make sure you stay until the end here. So first off, what is Claspo? It's a tool that allows you to build high converting pop-ups for your website. And it was built to balance both budget and features to create an affordable solution that doesn't lack for any of the features that you might want in a pop-up builder. It offers limitless customization and integrations without being super expensive. So it caters to freelance marketers, solopreneurs, and small startups. It's currently used by over 500 brands and hit number one product hunt of the day. In terms of revenue generation, it's a pretty standard SaaS subscription model and they do have a freemium plan with paid plans starting at $100 a month. This SaaS product was launched in 2021 and it has two co-founders, Nikita and Dimitri, and they're both located in Ukraine. In terms of the timeline of when the product was developed, it took between May and July of 2021 to successfully craft a prototype. And from there, it went with rigorous testing with clients and early adopters to get feedback to refine the prototype. And by the end of February, 2022, they were able to launch their MVP. In terms of how they acquired their first users, it was done as well by organic traffic. They went and created relevant material on their blog, and this continues to be a driving source of user acquisition today. And with organic traffic, they're experiencing a consistent 25% month over month growth. Besides organic, which they've relied heavily on to help grow the business, they've also focused on other growth opportunities, such as pay-per-click advertising, such as through Google search ads. They've used partnerships and co-marketing. They've also used influencer marketing partnering with industry experts on LinkedIn to create collaborative content and enhance their brand visibility and to establish credibility. They've also used public relations campaigns to strategically bolster their presence and attract a targeted audience. If we look at the biggest challenge they've had to overcome, and it was really the development of a product that bridges the gap between high price enterprise tools and those with limited functionality. And that was all to create an optimal solution that would cater to a broad audience. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you wanna build your own micro SaaS, but first you're gonna need some ideas. And that's where I have you covered with sneaky micro SaaS ideas you can steal for free. There's a link in the description below. I also have a complete academy that's gonna show you how to build, launch, and profit from your very own micro SaaS even if you don't have any product ideas or any SaaS experience. There's a link in the description below for this complete academy, so make sure you check that out there. In terms of some of the most important lessons they've learned along the way, the first one is that investing in public relations can be pivotal, as once you've built a solid organic reach, leveraging brand search can exponentially boost customer inflow. The next most important lesson is that when developing a B2B product, it's essential to emphasize with the needs and challenges of your customers customer. So it's not necessarily the customer you're selling to, but who they're serving. As by understanding their pain points, you can uncover valuable insights with minimal effort and time. Additionally, it's essential to differentiate your product by showcasing its unique features and benefits by clearly defining your niche in the market. It's going to reinforce your brand's identity and strengthen your competitive edge. Claspo has done this by putting a strong emphasis on simplicity and exceptional user experience. They've made the process of creating widgets extremely streamlined and it only takes a few minutes to create one as they have over 700 pre-designed templates catering to 36 different use cases. They do other things to prevent user errors to ensure that their website visits are not inconvenienced or annoyed. They also make it easy to go global as the Claspo widgets can adapt to the language settings of the visitor's browser or the language chosen on the website. And this makes it effortless for that business to cater to an international audience. In terms of some overall advice from the co-founder, Nick Kita, it's to start thinking about marketing from the get-go, even if your product isn't fully developed yet, as it's very beneficial to initiate your marketing strategy before your MVP release. And when your product launches, try to gather early adopters who can test it. As for Claspo, although they initially had a customer base established through their partners, they overlooked the plan of attracting external users and had to adjust their approach swiftly to foster growth after their launch. In terms of future plans for Claspo, they're working on expanding their educational content, 
establishing official partners with ESP and CRM systems to integrate with, and they're testing market hypotheses to refine their sales funnel and enhance user retention. So this concludes the video on Claspo. I hope you enjoyed this SaaS success story. And if you did, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I'll also leave a link in the description for the original source material for this video. So make sure you check that out as well. There are many other videos on this channel just like this. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.